Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm here with my special effects whiz wife, Laura. I'm here with my reflecting husband, Nathan. Mm. <laughs> you can uh, kind of see us a little bit. We're here to look at the electronic talking Cluedo SFX. Board game. It, it's Clue or Cluedo, depending on what region you are in the world. And it, it pretty much plays like Clue, but with SFX. Exactly. Sound effects. Mm. <laughs> All right, let's turn it around and show you the back. So there you go. There it is. <laughs> um, as I mentioned, it plays very, very similar to the um, Normal original Clue Cluedo. Cluedo. Yeah, um, we call it Cluedo here, by the Cluedo. way. So we're going to refer to it as Cluedo. Um, pretty much the only difference is, obviously, you can see you don't really move around like a grid anymore to search for clues. It's all handled... Um, Electronically. Yes. Yeah. So uh, it's very cool. Yep. So there will be a copy of the instructions in the description below. <clears throat> Hopefully, I will remember to do that. If I haven't, I'm very sorry. <laughs> I have forgotten before. And it, it, um, <clears throat> it also randomizes. Yeah, each, every time. each time. Yeah, yep. so. All right, so we're not going to play this, um, as we mentioned, the, the, the game plays. Yeah, it's Clue. Mo most yeah. people are probably going to have heard of or played Clue and or Clue before. Yeah, a bit. Um, but what we will do is we'll reposition the microphone at some point and we'll play all the sound effects and things like that so you can sort of hear what it sounds like. Yeah. Uh, so you have to put it together. This is a cardboard like backdrop. So it's kind of a, a 3D kind of board. Sort of like a um, haunted castle. Yeah, well, one of those sort of things. Or go go a haunted ghost castle, ghost castle. castle. Oh, I can't remember. The haunted house. Hmm. We, I've got haunted house. And my, well, my mum has anyway. So there are all the bits in there, which obviously we're going to show you. As we go. <clears throat> so let's show you the bits and bobs first. You want to take those. I'm just pulling yep. some more out. So there's cards, even though it is electronic. Yeah, so basically, like in the original game, you've got, um, I think they're weapon cards <laughs> yeah. specifically. So just like the rope, the um, pipe and whatever else. They is have in. been changed, as you yes. can see. And if you, Oop. sorry, just turn them over, that's what they look like on the back. Then you've got locations, just like, you know, in the basement, in the kitchen, in the original Clue, Cluedo. <laughs> again, they've been, I guess, a little bit more modernised, sort of. And then you have Miss Scarlet. Mm -hmm. Professor Plum. So these are called the suspects. I'm not sure what they're referred Reverend to. Reverend Green, original. Rusty, Miss White, or is it Mrs.? Mrs. Mrs. White, Mrs. Peacock, Mrs. Meadowbrook, and good old Colonel Mustard, who is the same colour as Mustard. So in the original game, um, you actually played as one of these, but you don't in you this You play one. as a detective. Well, no, you don't. You play as one of these characters, Nathan. <laughs> there is an inspector in the oh, game, I'm getting so all that's what you're I'm thinking I'm getting of. bamboozled. So, do you want to show the pieces? I will just look up their Hang names. On. because I'm just going to sort of focus. They've still put them along the same lines of, like, the original names using, like, the colour. So, you have Lord Grey there. Um, and they've got, I think, a special RFID chip or something inside them. That um, they, they interact with the like different yeah. spaces. How would you describe almost like um, Skylanders or something? Well, yeah, you know, you, you have a, 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 a figure a, kind of thing. Um, that was Prince Azui that you had there before. That's Lady Lavender. She's got a pot hand. <laughs> yeah, she's got like a vase or something. Look for for how small they are. They're not, they're not proudly detailed. And that's Miss Peach with her little umbrella. Um, so do you want to pull some more of the bits and show such <clears throat> as our confidential envelope? Alright, so <clears throat> the confidential envelope, if I recall the original Clue or Cluedo, which I usually don't because I'm awful at remembering, <laughs> this should have the weapon, the suspect, and the location. So it's the final... Um, Not the suspect. The, um, the, cr the, the criminal, yeah, the criminal. Who, who, who has done the so murder. So pretty much yeah. this <laughs> is the answer to your particular um, round. Yes, exactly. Um, so, while you're sort of showing some of those things, um, this is held at Tudor Mansion. I don't know if it was ever named originally. I can't in remember, the but Tudor Mansion us, sounds familiar. Let us know. I, I, I can't remember. Um, and like the classic, you just mark down all your clues, yes, no, X, and all that, depending yep. on what you've seen, what you haven't seen, and who you suspect. And Yep. Um, and there's a little extra column here. You can see some of the clues. You can actually write down um, which other players had the cards, um, or you can mark where you saw the inspector, who yeah. you have to know the location of to make your accusation at the end of the yeah, game. Yeah, so like, because it's, um, it's all audio based, um, you can hear other people's clues when they get No, you can't. They're on the card. That's why <sighs> the cards are still there. <laughs> See, this is I, why... I, I've played this more recently than Nathan. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, well, 2003, this originally came out. When did I last play it? My... Probably almost back then. Oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> um, so, 
I just want to mention a couple of things. So in, in this version of the game, um, Dr. John Black uh, is hosting an afternoon Mr. party. Mr. Black. Uh, he's the nephew of the late Sir Hugh Black, did you know? But what are these envelopes for? The clues. <gasps> so each suspect knows one clue. So they'll have one of, where are the cards? Here, like one of the cards, for example, they might have the Tudor Mansion. So each time you interview one of the suspects, you get to look at their clue. Um, do you want to start getting the other things yeah. out? So uh, what happens is that during the party, Miles Meadowbrook, who is Dr. Black's trusted lawyer and friend, uh, he's pulled aside Dr. Black for a private meeting to discuss some concerns about the details of Sir Hugh's will. Mr. Black. Uh, then Mr. Meadowbrook was seen leaving the mansion, heading back towards the garden. Sometime later, he was found dead. Watch out for a bun. Uh, and, and so, obviously, then, that is the mystery that we are trying to solve. Um, we also have Mr. Ash, who is, I guess, the narrator, you would, you would kind of call him. Yeah. Um, who was the butler. And he is the voice that you hear throughout the game. So All right. I need to go put some batteries in. As you can see, I've got a nice mix of, <laughs> of batteries. All right. And, and just quickly before you put the batteries in, it's quite heavy. Um, yeah. This unit at the back. Um, mainly because all the electronics run through the board as well, so yeah. it's it, it's got it's a very weighty, um, yeah. Yeah, it, it's quite heavy. Um, it has flaps at the side so that it can like stand up like that in the box. But yeah, that's a, a quick sort of look at that part. We might put the whole thing together because we've got pieces, um, and we'll come back when it's done. We have a built mansion. Tudor mansion. <laughs> um, so we have moved the microphone so that you're focused more on the board. So hopefully you can hear us reasonably well. Reasonably well. Now Nathan's whispering. <laughs> so here are the boards you each each player takes. Um, oh, sorry, we're moving chairs forward, so we need the microphone. <laughs> um, just they're a pad to write on. Yeah. It's, yeah, and you can hang on. You can open them. Oh, I forgot you, you can, can actually open them. hide them inside so people can't see your clues because you don't want people cheating, like Nathan. It's very actually hard to cheat on this one unless you're looking at them because it's all electronically controlled. Yeah, so uh, what you do is you put them on their start positions on the board. They all go with their corresponding colours as are their like names and for the I, game. The turns are sequential, right, Laura? What? The turns are sequential? <laughs> no. No, they're not. They're random. <laughs> if, if you're playing with more than two people? Yeah, so if you're playing with two people, you just take it in turns. Uh, if you're playing with three or four, um, everyone will get a turn per round. But, you know, you might go first three rounds in a row and then come fourth. Yeah. You know? So it, it's random, which it kind of makes it interesting. Now, are we ready to power it on? I think we are. Right, so there's a switch at the back, which I'll just switch on. We should mention this has both... Um, Plastic, Plastic and cardboard. And cardboard, yeah. Welcome to Tudor Mansion. Please choose your characters. All right, so now it should... Is Lord Grey playing? So it asks us who we're playing with. So we'll just run through as though we're, we're setting up, say. So, so we'll say yes. Is Lord Grey playing? So the bushes Please here act as buttons. Is Lord Grey? Glad you could join us. And so we press is yes. Is Lady Lavender playing? Yes. Lady Lavender, welcome. Is Miss Peach playing? No. So is there's Pitch a no bush. Playing. No. Welcome <laughs> to Tudor Mansion. Please place your characters on their start spaces. Which we have done. We've done that. Lady Lavender, your turn. So then it randomly guesses or assigns who will go first. Uh, so what you do from here is you can move to any place on the board. You can actually do several different things. But yes, since at the start of the game, you obviously want to start looking for clues. Which means we go go anywhere. Yeah. So, for example, um, we'd move, say, maybe Lady to the tennis court. Lavender, please move. It does remind you and hurries you along as well. And what you want to do is then kind of there push are them. No suspects at the tennis court. Okay, so then it lets you know who is there with you. So there's no suspects. Um, the inspector obviously isn't there because they would have mentioned that ah, as well. But there is a search button. So sometimes the suspects hide from you. You search and find Mrs. Meadowbrook. Ah, sneaky. <laughs> oh dear. Lord Grey, your turn. So now uh, if I was playing as Lady Lavender, I would then check the envelope um, with Mrs. Meadowbrook. Uh, Mrs. Meadowbrook. And obviously we would have 
a card in there if we were actually playing. So I would then check that clue so and mark be, that off. It might be, you know, Professor Plum or the garage in there. In which then I can cross it off going, nope, that is not right. Yes, so the uh, the other thing um, is the inspector, so you want to move to locations to try and find him because you need to know where he is to make your final accusation. Because you need to make the accusation to the inspector. Yes. And he moves around the board just like the other suspect, so you could know who the who the murderer is, Not except... Ray, please, <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> except you couldn't actually, you can't, if you can't find the inspector, you can't. Alright, let's, let's just move him so he stops. There are no suspects at the swimming pool. Alright, so let's not search for that one, we'll just assume there's nobody there. So sometimes what you'll hear in between turns, like say now, might be some footsteps, Which and that's... Someone oh, moving. Yeah, so that means one of the suspects, maybe the one I met, is now moving somewhere else, for example. Um, sometimes you won't know that they've moved, sometimes you will. If they move to your location that you're already on, it'll also announce that they're then, moving to where you, you are. And then you can actually search them for clues. Yeah, you can use the clue. <laughs> So that's what happens if you do something you shouldn't. Please press the done button to finish your turn. Because, so, we, because we because we didn't search, which automatically ends our turn, it means it's waiting for an actual input. Yes, which is the biggest push. <laughs> Lady Lavender, your turn. Now we just heard horses there. Yes. So now I would then say take myself and go over here to the stables. <laughs> You see Colonel Mustard and Rusty at the stable. Which is really... <laughs> Colonel Mustard is the name. Evening, my lady. Which is really <laughs> useful because you can search both of them for clues. Yes, so that's that's really helpful. Um, I mean, I could have got here and there could have been no one. I might have searched again. Um, and the reason we heard, so bleh, heard the horses, sorry, was because, because someone was, nobody was there. No. So you don't hear them announcing that they've arrived at like your location, for example. We should try and get one to say at our location if we can. So hang on, press done for Colonel me. Colonel Mustard has left the stable. There you go. Oh. I really so, like just the audio. Your turn. What you'll notice that um, uh, Rusty there said good day, me lady, or mm. whatever. Um, it actually changes depending on if your character's... So it's actually dependent on which character you're using, which I think is really nice. Yeah, and they obviously all have different voices. Um, and because... Oh. You see Mrs. Peacock at the garden. Hello, handsome. <laughs> so because I was at the stables before, that was why we actually heard them saying that Colonel Mustard had moved, because I could obviously but see him he, going. You were there. there. Yeah. Um, you search and find... Professor Plum watching you from afar. <laughs> um, Mrs. Peacock has left the garden. See you, ta -ta. There you go. So we heard another one there Lady because Nathan Lavender, was there. Your turn. So the, the really the last thing to the game, um, aside from making oh, your final accusation, there's also is... we forgot rather than um, uh, what's the word I'm trying to say about getting person arrested. Making a guess at who the murderer that, that's is. That's what I was just starting to say. Uh, so you can actually do the um, what is it? Make a suggestion. Lady yeah. Lavender, please move. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> now I'm at the boathouse. Um, anyway, you see oh. Mrs. Peacock at the boathouse. Hello, lovey. So what Nathan was trying to say is, if you're not ready to make your final accusation, you can make a guess, essentially, is what it is. I, I um, think it might be X person at this X place yes, with, with this X weapon. Item. And then the other players, um, same as in the original, need to prove you wrong. So if they've got some or all of those cards, perhaps, in their hand, um, they have to show a card to prove that your statement is false. Yes, and they don't have to show all of them, just one they think might not be as useful. If you've got multiple cards in your Essentially, hand. yes. So that, that's another way to get your clues. Same as, again, in the original game. Um, the other thing I should mention is that the suspects, um, they can't move anywhere on the board. So in one turn, they can't go from, you know, over here at the pool, straight across here to the tennis courts. They can only move one place to the next. Yeah. So that, that's why the sounds are really important. So Because, because Mrs. Kurt, hang on, Colonel Mustard, who was at the stables before... Can, and he moved, he can yeah. only be here or here, the ones Just like on the it side. was, Miss Plum is now here, because it's one space. Yeah. Um, we're probably making it sound more complicated than it is. It, Essentially, it's Cluedo, but just, it, it narrates for you. Should so, we just try and get a couple more sounds and then move on to the, the final? Yeah, so how about you put them on a location we haven't been oh, before? Great. your turn. 
So maybe... Oh, yeah, there you go, the there mansion. There are no suspects at Tudor Mansion. And we haven't found the inspector yet. Um, no. So there's a repeat button to repeat what he just said. Mm -hmm. There's a done, which he heard, search, yes, no. And there's no. A, a final button as well when you're ready to make your final accusation. And the waiting one, I think, gives you more time. It doesn't keep... Uh, um, so the buggy. waiting one, actually, is if you're getting impatient with other players, you can... Time is mm -hmm. wasting. Yeah. Come you, you... on. We have got a crime <laughs> to solve. Oh, dear. Hurry it up a bit. Hey, I wonder who... So there's actually a lot of audio. There is, yeah. It, it's actually the quite detailed. Trump has entered Tudor Mansion. Oh, ah. good day. So then Lady I think it's... Lavender, your turn. So, yeah, then, then Nathan can question him. Uh, where oh. haven't we been? The garage? <laughs> you see Mrs. Meadowbrook at the garage. Oh, I've been dying to meet you. Okay. <laughs> so we're just going to oh, quickly go... The gate? Yes. So that would be like the gate to the mansion, maybe? You see Colonel Mustard and Rusty at the gazebo. <laughs> They're hanging out together an awful lot. <laughs> Let's try and find the, the darn inspector. Yeah. Oh. The inspector has just arrived. Oh, oh that's right. At the gatehouse. Evening, so, ladies and gentlemen, I will be thoroughly searching the grounds. Please find me if you have any clues regarding the Meadowbrook mystery. I completely forgot that Colonel there was time. Mustard yeah. has left the casino. He takes a few turns to arrive. Um, Lady Lavender. And I think we've got turn. one more location, which is the gatehouse that we haven't um, so heard the that, audio that, of. So I'll, 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 I'll move yeah. there, yeah. <laughs> You see Inspector Brown and Miss Scarlet at the gatehouse. Amen all. Oh, hello, dear. All right, so because I'm on the inspector, if I perhaps then wanted to make my final accusation... And just like the original, if you get it wrong, you lose. You're out of the game. But say I say I was really confident. Um, do you want to press the final um, bush Are for you me? making a final accusation? And then you so would press yes either or no, yes or no. So, you think you know the answer? Make your accusation. So um, then you would say it's X, 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 or whatever it may and be. And then you would check the confidential envelope. Again, same were as in the original. Right? And then it so, asks, was he, were you right? Well done, Lady Lavender. Fine work. You solved the case in record time. And, and right. that's... We'll take it from here. I was going to say, that's the end of the <laughs> game because the suspect has been arrested. <laughs> so it's a really neat, like, concept... I like it. Um, we have little kids, for those that don't know, so it, it's a bit of a loud one for us to play um, when they're sleeping. Um, but provided noise isn't an issue, I think it's a fun way to play Cluedo. And it just, it's all, I don't know, I, I just like it. Even though it plays very similar to Cluedo, it also feels very different at the same time. Yeah, I, I agree with that, because you have the, the main part of the game still there, but just with some different things. I think some of the voices are kind of fun, and it makes you feel more like you're actually solving and, a mystery. And the fact that things can happen um, interactively, like think suspects can move and things like yeah. that, and there are a couple of different options we can do per turn. Um, a bit more strategic, maybe? Than it, yeah, it, it could be. It, 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 yeah, it all depends, but I like it. Me too. If you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know down below if you have... Oh, it stops working after the game's over, by the way. Um, let us know if you have played any different versions of Cluedo. It doesn't have to be an electronic one, but like, like you can get, yeah, yeah, we can get something like that. These days. Uh, press that subscribe button. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.